so when it comes to introducing your dog to a cat, um, the main thing is, uh, is remember we have a, two different animals involved here. So we want to, you know, we're, we're, we're all usually always concerned about the dog. We're trying to make sure that the dog doesn't hurt the cat, but we also got to consider the cat as well too. We don't want to stress the cat out too much. So we're going to pop in a video here of uh, Cindy and Ed's cat Sting uh, during their introduction process with dogs. I have introduced a number of dogs to cats. These dogs have all accepted and lived with my two house cats without problems. I would have bet a lot of money that a couple of these adult police dogs would never have accepted a cat, but they did. With that said, I've also seen a couple of dogs that I would never trust with cats. Usually, the biggest part of a cat-dog problem is the owner. They make a huge mistake by just bringing a pup or a dog into their home and letting it loose in the house with the cat. This is a formula for disaster. Dog owners need to understand that their dogs are pack animals with strong instincts. It's the owner's job to teach the dog that cats are part of the family pack. The first step in this process of acclimating a dog to your cat is to provide a controlled exposure. The dog must see the cats in the house over an extended period of time, and by that I mean weeks and maybe months. This is done with the use of a dog crate. In the beginning, cats are put in separate rooms before the dog is brought into the house. I put my dogs on leash when I bring them in to show the dog that coming in the house is a controlled experience and not someplace they're going to charge around like a crazy animal. In other words, by having them on leash, I set the tone of how I'm going to allow them to act in the house. Once in the crate, if the dog barks at the cats when we let the cats out of the back room, we verbally scold them. If they'll not stop barking, I'll either cover the crate with a sheet or spray lemon juice and lemon water in their face through the bars of the dog crate. If this doesn't work, there's a number of other things that we can do to control barking, but this is not the place to go into that. The dog is then never allowed to be out of the crate with the cats loose until after they have gone a complete week without barking when the cats come by the crate. This does not mean that the dogs are locked in the dog crates for weeks at a time. They can have their free time in the house, but the cats are put in a different room when the dogs are out. When the day comes that I'm going to let the dog out of the crate with the cat in the room, it's always done with the dog on a leash. With a puppy, if the puppy takes off and charges after the cat, he's corrected with a pop on the leash. He's given a no command and a pop on the leash. And the pop on the leash needs to be hard enough that he turns and leaves the cat alone. A slight little pop, pop, pop if your, bar if your puppy is out and continues to bark and try and chase is not enough. Your correction needs to be strong enough that the puppy learns to turn and leave it alone. In the instant he does, he needs to be praised. If you have patience and do your training properly, you can have a cat and a dog live happily in the same household.